Let's head overseas now to India, where President Obama is tonight brokering deals with the second most populous country in the world. One of his first stops, the Gandhi Memorial, throwing rose petals on the shrine to the father of India's independence movement. But each stop on the president's visit comes with extraordinary security measures. ABC's senior national correspondent Jim Avila is traveling with Mr. Obama. This is a summit of mostly pomp and style. The first lady immediately setting the tone in a colorful dress made for her by an Indian designer living in New York, while the president and Indian prime minister embraced heartily, signaling the real purpose of the meetings getting the relationship to the next level. It is a great honor. There were man hugs all day and greetings of namaste from President Obama. From the high-stepping military review to his solemn visit to the memorial honoring Mahatma Gandhi where the president took off his shoes to lay a wreath, throw flowers, and plant a tree. The United States and India have declared a new uh, declaration of friendship. Promising to share defense technology and fight terrorism. President Obama will follow tonight's state dinner with the trip's main event tomorrow, the massive Republic Day Parade, an unprecedented three hours in public in a foreign nation. What's driving the Secret Service crazy is that the president will not be in a closed car. More than 50,000 police and troops assigned to shut down the heart of the city. 1,000 snipers, 1,500 surveillance cameras, a no-fly zone, and metro line shutdown. But President Obama canceled his sojourn to the Taj Mahal, instead diverting to Saudi Arabia Tuesday to meet with the new king. Jim Avila, ABC News, traveling with the president in New Delhi.